there are foundations of health mm -hmm. and we cannot expect to feel good unless those building blocks and foundations are there. And what we are observing society as a whole, especially American society, um, we are getting more and more sick. And if you're physically sick, you're going to be mentally unwell. Right. Um, so when I start to talk about, I want to open up the conversation about mental health. The way it is right now is restricted and limited. Yeah. Um, so I believe in certain things that are necessary for my well being that I do myself. And I think that are necessary for the well being of others. I started my psychology career as a psychologist, research and treatment of eating disorders. So you just see, you see the psychiatric consequences of nutri nutrient deprivation right there. And, um, you know, if you're working with an underweight anorexic client, they will exhibit all different kinds of psychiatric symptoms from obsessive compulsive disorder to depressed mood, high anxiety, panic, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And just the act of restoring their weight with food resolves the condition, right? Mm -hmm. So we know that human beings, when they are deprived mm -hmm. of nutrients, exercise, movement, sun exposure, um, and are provided foods that are inflammatory, um, disease creating, and you're nutrient deficient because of those, there are psychiatric symptoms that, that exist. Mm -hmm. And I experience, I experience it myself. I experiment myself. So I know that if I'm not meditating, if not, if I'm not exercising the winter months, the type of foods I eat, uh, they affect me, how I feel, my quality of sleep, my ability to stay focused. And the sun is our life force from vitamin D levels to boosting immunity to melatonin, regulating sleep. It is our life force. And at different times of the year, you see that people can be very susceptible to like depressive conditions and low mood and, 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 and so forth. And then the, the other thing that I think is critically important is sense of purpose and meaning. Um, so if we're talking about foundations of health, I don't know how you live well in this life unless you have a, a purpose and you have a meaning that's attached to everything you do, whether that's being a parent or in the work that you do, or it's through service. So if those things are not there, the idea of trying to find it somewhere else to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And the idea of trying to solve it with a pharmaceutical set, a pharmaceutical even makes less sense to me.